new tonight, we're getting an inside look at a coronavirus testing lab right here in Houston. Channel 2 investigator Joel Eisenbaum takes you right to the front lines where scientists review hundreds of samples each and every day and then deliver the sometimes life-changing results. Inside this nondescript building. Is that COVID? The most important work in our city. How many come in a day? About 1,200. At All True Diagnostics, a clinical testing laboratory, these scientists, these technicians, these machines give the yay or nay. All three targets here, we have good amplification, meaning this, this patient is positive for COVID-19. Before the crisis, All True tested for all manner of other infectious diseases. It was when COVID-19 was still foreign to us, before it ruled our lives. Dr. Jesse Howard and his Houston team had the forethought to take action. Once we saw everything coming out of China, we started getting the supplies in order. And that early? Yeah, we got validated essentially. We were one of the first labs in Texas to get validated. Certification is a federal process, the FDA, and so now 1,200 times per day. Real people, real scared people, people who visited testing centers in Houston and across the nation are reduced to a series of numbers. The biohazard bags arrive by courier nonstop. Each and every tiny sample is tracked from beginning to end. If we had one specimen come through the door, um, start to finish, it'd be about four and a half hours. Of course, there's not just one, and so Altru tries to turn around batch results, the fates of hundreds of people at a time, delivered in 10 to 24 hours. Just less than 8% of the results come back COVID-19 positive, all of it passing through a 3,000-square-foot lab off the Katy Freeway. That's a lot of coronavirus in a small space. How Great safe question. do you feel here? You know, we are testing all of our employees weekly and no one has come back positive. This lab is now preparing for the next phase of the coronavirus fight, antibody testing, identifying the chief indicator in resisting coronavirus. Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Joel, thank you.